again YouTube, Mad Dog here, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm back up in the woods today. Um, I've got the missus with me, Mrs Mad Dog's over there a ways by our base camp. Uh, and we're up here today, basically gathering a bit of firewood for our log store back at home. Um, <clears throat> so whilst I'm up here, obviously using a variety of different saws, axes, hatchets, machetes, and um, obviously our belt knives, cutting tools and I thought I always sort of preach carry a good first aid kit to include cuts burns and especially falls and you know why you're in this environment for trips and falls sprains and breaks it's not a good combination you know sharp cutting tools fire and um, constant tripping hazards so that being said I thought I'd show you something that I add to my first aid um, outfit kit to my IFAC and that is this <clears throat> and as you can see it's a military field dressing by the company trauma fix now these come in two sizes um, they come in this one which is i believe the 10 by 19 centimeters and they come in a size of 20 centimeters by 19. <clears throat> In some cases, the coded, 1964 and 1965. Um, 64 being this one, the smaller one, 65 being the larger one. Obviously, they are sterile, they're vacuum sealed. They come in this OD green military um, packaging. They have a pad that is able to absorb at least 10 times its own volume in liquid fluid. And because it has a Velcro type of easy fasten, it's good for pressure wounds. So if you do have a deep bleed, <clears throat> this is a good thing to have. It's lightweight, cargo pocket size, nice bit of kit. You know, without going to the Israeli bandage and all that malarkey and um, them type of dressings, this is so quick and easy. You don't have to be a paramedic to know how to use this. Dead, dead easy, dead simple. So that being said, I could do with a casualty now. I might have to have a walk around the woods, see if I can find somebody and um, hmm, see if I can't find me a casualty and uh, I'll demonstrate it. Stay tuned. Okay, let's see if we can't find uh, a casualty. So, ah, here's one. <laughs> Okay, so we have a casualty. <laughs> so um, let's crack on with this. So obviously what you would do is get the casualty to apply immediate pressure and raise said injury, um, obviously to reduce the, uh, the blood spill. So what I'm gonna do is just tear this open. Comes out nice and easy. And then it's in this vacuum packed, symmetrically sealed vacuum packaging which also has a tear off point comes out nice and easy and there's the bandage itself so the first bit out is the pressure dressing so we apply that immediately to the wound and just begin to wrap around the wound and each time you make a pass with the elasticated bandage wrapping, we're going to slowly increase the pressure, slowly increase the pressure, which will apply that pressure to the wound and restrict the blood flow. We're then going to do one pass over the first edge, one pass over the back edge. And when we get to the Velcro strip at the end, that's it, done. It's as simple as that, no pins, no fancy knot tying, no messing about. Bag them and tag them, get them off to A&E, happy days. So I just thought I'd show this with you because <clears throat> for the price, it's cheaper than an Israeli bandage or number one or two field dressing. It's quick and easy, easy to tie. Highly recommend chucking a couple of those in your first aid kit when you're out in the field. So um, I'll sign off for there for now. Hope you find it useful, if not entertaining. Thank you to my casualty. <laughs> I think she'll live to fight another day, <laughs> hopefully. 
until next time, that'll do from us too. That's Mr. and Mrs. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah. Yeah.